Alrighty, so it's been a while since I made a video here, um, and I was gonna wait until the roof was completely done, but, uh, I just ran out of sticks, and so I'm gonna buy more tomorrow, and I'll probably be finished with the roof on Friday or Saturday, um, but I thought I'd make another video here, why not? Um, so I'll show you the roof, it's just about done, um, I just got done framing this thing, um, looks pretty nice, um, and then, as you can see, the pitch of the roof changes here. Um, if it didn't change, the roof would end right. It would continuously end right there along this line. Um, but the pitch is going to change a little bit there. Right here, there will be a crack, and it will be a little bit uh, less slanted. Um, and that just adds for a little porch area, and it just looks cool. And... Um, yeah, it'll keep going across like that and then this you won't be able to see um, but yeah so and it'll make it the dormer kind of come out of the roof um, I have all the roofing done uh, well not all of it most of it um, like I said in the other videos there will be fascia like that underneath here like that along the side of the roof like that and underneath here like that, um, but yeah, uh, you can see up in there, looks cool, um, what I'm gonna do with this roof is it's, it's not gonna overhang at all, um, I'm not gonna do that part of the roof until I get, um, siding on, but, uh, the roof is just gonna come down and it's gonna end like this right at the siding, or like this, so it's not gonna overhang at all. And then it's going to overhang a tiny little bit in the front, but not not anything like that. It's just going to overhang a little bit, um, just because it's a small little roof, and it wouldn't look cool if there was a big overhang on it. Um, so yeah, there's that, which I just did. Um, took me a half hour. Um, as you can see, I, I couldn't do the corners of the roof yet, because there's nothing to glue a stick that small to. And so what I'm going to do is wait until I'm done with the fascia, because that's going to go like that. And then there's going to be another one right here, obviously, and so it'll be, the stick will have something to glue to on this side, um, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, another roof there that I did. I'll walk around the house. Um, the corners are very annoying to do. Um, all those little corner pieces I had to cut perfectly. Um, but yeah, so if I come around here, um, this, I'm going to make this door for the attic, um, that'll be one of the last things I do, it's just going to be a panel that, like, slides in there, um, but that's your lighting stuff, uh, the switch is right there, um, but yeah, so there's like a big room up in there, see, it's the attic. Uh, that part of the roof isn't done yet, but, um, so it looks like in there, <laughs> it's pretty neat, um, and so there's another corner that I didn't do, um, but yeah, that makes a big triangle, um, and you have the flat top part of the roof, and then come around back, and I, I put a video up of me building this. I'm sorry, me building this. Um, and yeah, you can see back in there. Kind of. It's dark. Um, and then that one I did a long time ago. See, that'll be what the edges of the roof will look like. Um, and I have to remove this. Um, I didn't start on this yet. That'll be the last thing I do. It's going to be the same kind of roof as that, just a big triangle, leaning, not not one like that, but leaning back, same pitch as this roof. Um, yeah, there's a hole there, but it'll be underneath that, it doesn't matter. Um, and then, the roof comes down here, and there's this corner, and then, you got this dormer here, this will be the last thing I do along with that, these two parts of the roof. Um, 
it is a slightly different, it's the same pitch this way as the roof, but it's the triangle comes up to a 90 degree angle rather than whatever this angle is. So it's going to, the edge of the roof is going to be right here. This will be the edge right here. It will overhang to like right here. And then rather than going up like this, it's going to go up like this. It's going to meet right there. So, uh, and then this will go down right here. Uh, where that red line is, but the line is underneath there. So I have one last corner to do. This is how I do it. I just do the whole roof. And then I any pieces that need to be cut at an angle, I just leave out. And then I come back and fill them in later and do the corner. The corners come out pretty nice. Pretty straight. That's nice and straight, mostly. Level. Little imperfections, but whatever. Um, and so I just have to do this corner. And then... This is going to be annoying, because I don't know what I'm going to do for that. Um, but I'll just <clears throat> do... You know, the roof will look the same there, and then it'll kind of join in here. And there's a little wall there. And that's where I was a minute ago. Um, and so, yeah, I just have to do that. And I'm about done. The roof looks really nice. I like the the wood look. And um, how I did, um, I did, like, there's no seams. Like, there's not one seam line, like this roof. See how there's just a big line going across? And you can see where the sticks end. And here, as you can tell, I went back and forth. So it's like a zigzag pattern where the seams are. There's no two seams next to each other. Um, and that looks really neat when you stand... Whoa, just tripped over my thing. Um, but if you look at the pattern, it makes it looks really cool. Um, and then it'll look neat when that roof's on. And of course, when the siding's done, um, it'll look cool. But uh, so that's the roof. It's coming out pretty awesome. Um, I bought the last two boxes of popsicle sticks, thinking that would last me till the end, and uh, I just ran out. So I need to get more, and probably more glue sticks. Um, the thing I'm worried about is when I buy the sticks, um, each box is different. If you look at the color of that house. It's kind of like tan, kind of darkish. And if you look at the color of this house, it's like lighter. And so I'm kind of worried that the next box is going to be light, or I mean like dark or something. And um, it's going to like not match. Because you, you, like, you can actually tell on that house where I switched boxes. I think it's on the other side of the roof. And a little bit on the top. See how they're all really different colors on the top? And then on the bottom two panels it's like the colors are more of the same that's because that was a whole different box um but yeah so anyway that's that next video will come in about a week and then after that I'll just have one more video um of the siding maybe two more of the siding and siding is going to be fun um that's going to be neat to do so one more look inside. The, I think it's really neat looking in the attic like this. I'll get my other camera that fits in there and like I'll like show around. Yeah, can't even see really. That looks cool though. It's really big up there. Let's like look around the corner. But yeah. So yeah, I'll just I'm just gonna have a door. It's going to match up with the siding, and then you could just pop it in, and then somehow I'll leave a little hole in it. You could, like, stick something in there, pop it out. Um, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, the roof's really strong, too. It doesn't, actually doesn't bend at all, no matter how hard you push on it. It doesn't crack or bend or anything. No, nothing. If anywhere there's a weak spot, it's going to be right here. This has a little bit of a bend to it, because there's nothing right here, otherwise it would be stronger. But, um, yeah, it definitely doesn't bend at all, especially like these things. It just, I mean, this is strong enough right here, like I'm pushing on this whole thing, and it's like, it's all just, it's, 
since I'm using glue, it kind of just holds everything together, but um, and then you go and you put these these sticks on it, these ones that go underneath, and it really holds it together, and then you put the final coat on it, and that just really holds it together, and so, I mean, it's strong, and then there's glue everywhere, so the glue just, like, holds everything, and it would be stronger than using, like, individual nails holding one thing to another, where the glue just kind of holds everything together, so, um, it's coming out really strong, really nice, and it'll be done soon, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm done with it. I don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> don't really have room for it, but whatever. And so, yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.